Hello everybody! Every month we hear about a new revolutionary MMORPG being announced or released soon and we get our hopes high. Well in the case of Chrono Odyssey you might finally get a game worthy of such a title. On first look the game reminds us so much of Dark Souls and Elden Ring and this is probably how these games would look if they would ever be turned into MMOs. So what is Chrono Odyssey? It is an open world MMORPG developed by Chrono Studio using Unreal Engine 5 and published by South Korean company NPixel. The game is set in the fantasy world of Cetera and on the official Chrono Odyssey website is described as a land full of unexplored regions with rewards and riches yet unknown. It is a seemingly idyllic realm cloaked in beauty and lush wilderness but the fabric of time and space is warped in Cetera and it harbors a dark and perpetual conflict against the Void. The Void are otherworldly invaders that reject the existence of life itself. An array of enigmatic wonders and terrors await players who dare to try and unravel Cetera's mysteries. Cetera's landscape will reportedly change with the passing season in the game. We also know that Cetera will feature varied locations including forests, cities, castles and battlefields. We will get to interact with a device known as a Chronotector, which is an artifact that can manipulate space and time. The device yields to its holder's will and it was created by the Great Ones, who we can assume to be godlike beings. The game will feature both PvE and PvP on both PC and console platforms. The game will feature a seamless open world with seamless movement from one zone to another which likely means that there will be no loading zones during exploration. The gameplay in the combat in Chrono Odyssey resembles that of a faster paced Elden Ring. However, the game will require heavy emphasis on teamwork and collaboration to overcome the world's immense challenges. Numerous weapons will be available for players to use and switch between. This includes swords, daggers, bows and guns. Magic, melee and dual wielding will also be a key part of Chrono Odyssey's combat. In an official PlayStation blog, Samuel CEO, PD of Chrono Studio, explained that players will need to master the basics of attack, defense, dodge and switch seamlessly between multiple weapons in real time to gain the upper hand in the battle. It also appears that Chrono Odyssey will feature horseback riding in some form as well as other mounts for players to use. From what we know so far there are 5 known factions in Chrono Odyssey. The Guardians, the faction consists of great beings who oversee everything that oversees Cetera and their followers. Guardians can vary in appearance and temperament and are not inhabitants of this world. The Guardians came to this world after their worlds were destroyed and were called upon by the Great Ones. The Void, member of the Void are immortal and incredibly powerful. The only reason Cetera is able to keep the Void and its champions at bay is limiting its powers. But the Void is growing in power and we will be tasked with stopping them. The Broken, they are known as the World Movers, their bodies have been contaminated by the Void and they suffer from seizures and breakdown of their bodily functions. If the Void contamination reaches a critical point, it breaks down the energy flow in their bodies and leaves them in a zombie-like state. They do not lose their sense of self completely, but they attack anything on sight to restore their lost energy. The World Movers are survivors of the Void's destruction of their homeland. They have escaped to Cetera and are blessed with strength or luck, which allows them to take on challenges and powerful foes. There are three different factions with the world movers, but their ultimate goal is to ensure survival and prosperity for their entire faction. While their goals are aligned, the factions experience a power struggle and are constantly fighting for influence, rights and personal interests. The outcasts are former world movers who were removed from their faction due to internal differences. The group is known for immoral acts and is hostile towards world movers. They are human which makes it easy for them to stay in hiding and are known to scam world movers. When it comes to the success of the Chrono Odyssey project, the CEO of NPixel is Spike Pongun Bai, who is known for his developmental roles in Seven Nights and DK Online. NPixel achieved fame through its other game called Grand Saga, and company received a significant investment from Saihan Venture Capital, Altos Ventures and Aspects last year. The publisher has also signed Chris Velasco who has worked on games like Starcraft, God of War and Overwatch. Before you go, 
I just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that button and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on future content. Leave a comment below to share your thoughts or any questions you might have. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.